So about to go in depth into a lot of anatomy and um, here we talk about the anatomy of the vulva. So this is female anatomy, right? So we started with the vulva, which is like outside of the vagina. Okay, so we'll talk about it and you know, so that I get to know the different parts. So let me quickly get my pen. <coughs> so the anatomy of the vulva is as follows. So this is your full vagina and the outside of the vagina here is what is known as what? The vulva containing the clitoris, the urethral opening, you know, the labia minora, labia majora, the vagina opening, you know. So that's, this picture summarizes everything that we are about to even discuss in this place. So what we have here is this. So it's actually the collective term when you're talking about what? The external female genitalia. That's everything that makes up the external female genitalia. So it's like the outer gateway to the reproductive and urinary systems. Okay, reproductive, that's the vagina is opening there. Urinary system, the urethra is actually opening at the vulva. Okay. So the structures that make up the vulva include, you know, you have the mons pubis. Okay. You have the labia majora. You have the labia minora, like I was saying. The inner one is major, minora. The outer one is what? Majora. Okay, then we have the clitoris, which is what if a, a place containing of nerve endings. Okay, so nerve endings are there, it's highly sensitive, it's an erectile organ, so it's homologous to the penis. Okay, so it actually becomes the penis in men, you know. So vestibule have the vestibule, which is a space that is between the labia minora and the what majora. So it's space between the labia minora containing the openings. Uh, of the urethra and the vagina okay you can have a look again you can post it to observe very well you know they will have urethral openings which is like the opening of the urinary system where you urinate have the vagina opening which is known as what the introitus then we have the perineum which is like the area uh, between what <coughs> the vagina and the anus so functions is basically for protection so it's shielding the internal organs it's outside so it's like a protective layer okay of what is inside sexual function to you know the reproductive role where there's an opening for the vagina there so it's a urinary role where there's an opening for the urethra for what urine you know so we learn about the, the vulva because from here we can be able to know about you know all those surgeries they do on the vulva you know all those you know vulva issues the the tumor growth cancer benign and malignant then also sexual health okay so overall you know you get to understand the sexual lifestyles okay so that's what we have for the anatomy of the vulva now quickly proceed to the next anatomy